What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually make this sunburst effect in Adobe Photoshop. So it's really simple as to how to do it, all you have to do is follow along with the tutorial and you will understand it perfectly. So anyways, starting off in Photoshop, all we're going to do is head over to File and Top, we're going to go to New, and this will open up the new window. So we're just going to go ahead and change the width to 1 to 80, the height to 720, and we're going to have the resolution on 150. This is the standard for YouTube thumbnails, but if you want to go ahead, maybe make a YouTube banner, you can change the settings there. So as you can see, we've got a new document now. So the first thing we're going to do, like you do with any design, is head over to the layers page. And we're just going to go ahead and click on the lock. This is going to change the background layer into a normal layer so we can go ahead and edit it. So next, all we're going to do is go over to the gradient tool on the left. We're going to go back up to the colors and this is going to open up the gradient editor and we're just going to have a white to gray gradient you guys can go ahead use whatever colors you want maybe even use a preset but i'm just going to use a white to gray gradient and hit ok once you've done this just hold down shift on your keyboard and drag the gradient from the top to the bottom and you will see your color will be obviously mine's white to gray but yours will be something different or if you've used the same as me it will be like this so once you've done this just go ahead and go to filter distort and then go to wave once you've selected wave a new window will pop up and you can change some settings so if you want to pause the video and copy these down you can but i will be reading them out as well so i've got the number of generators on one i have my wavelength minimum 93 and my wavelength max on 94 then for amplitude i have the minimum on one and the max on 999 then for scale i have them both on 100 percent and then for the type i have square and then undefined areas is on repeat edge pixels so once you've done this, just go ahead and hit OK once again, and you will get this line effect. All you have to do now is do one more effect. So we're going to go back to filter, we're going to go to distort, and go to polar coordinates. Once you're on this, a new window will pop up once again, and all you have to do is select the rectangular to polar option, and then hit OK. And as you can see, the effect will happen on your screen. And there's one more thing I do just to obviously make it look a bit better. I'm going to make a new layer. As you can see here, just press the new layer. I'm going to go to the brush tool and I'm going to select this brush, zero hardness, and I'm going to make sure I'm on the color white. So once you've done this, just go ahead and just make this brush in the middle of the page and then maybe even lower down the opacity as you can see here. I'm going to put it on around about 42. I think that looks good. And yeah, that's the final design. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it's been short, but I do get a lot of questions asked about how you actually make this effect. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Once again, this has been Visual or James in the mouth, peace.